Hello, my friends. Welcome back. So in this section, we're going to talk about block level and inline elements in HTML. So first of all, I want to talk about block level inline element properties, and then we'll get into div and span tags that actually get uh, their functionality from CSS. But basically, I want to tell you that HTML tags are examined in two different groups. These are block level elements and inline elements. So the element in HTML is either block level element or inline element. Cool. So now when we look at block level elements, they are always tags that start with a new line. It occupies the entire area determined between the opening and closing tag. When we look at the inline elements, it starts in the same line, and it only takes up as much content within that line. So here are two of the best examples that I think uh, can make with these elements. Here are div and span tags. So come on, let's try to understand what we're uh, talking about here, and we'll apply it in Atom. So start Atom and create a new HTML file, and we'll call it block level inline element. And start by pressing tab, typing HTML as we'll always do, and we'll give a title to our page. Now, without using the div and span tags, I want to talk to you about the HR tag, which I don't know if you've come across before, because I know I haven't shown it to you before. So in this lesson, I really do believe that we will understand the difference between block level and inline elements, right? That's a no-brainer. But I want to better explain the HR tag, because first of all, the HR tag is a single tag that does not need to be closed. So when you're using the HR tag, as we see here, it draws a horizontal line from start to finish. So now let's use a few HR tags in a row to better understand the block elements. So yes, we have horizontal lines under it. Right now, let's just slightly reduce the width of our lines with the width parameter. And that'll complete some points here and here. So I'll set the width to 400 pixels. And as we can see, none of the lines came side by side with all the lines lined up because the HR tag is also a block level element. And when we use these elements, we have specified that it will always start with a new line. All right? So now getting back to what I was telling you in the beginning of the lesson, We'll talk briefly about div and span tags so that we can see the difference between block level and inline elements. So first of all, I want to add two paragraphs. I want to include our first paragraph in the div tags. Using the div tag here, um, let's think of it as if I've created a box. So let's delete a few HR tags um, just to see what that looks like and add some space between them. All right, so here we've created a box just like that with a div tag. And now let's um, just think that we've added everything between the opening and closing tags in this box. So we take a few words in our paragraph between the div tags and look at it. And there's the section that we take between the div starts with a new line. Now I want to see the difference by using the span tag in our other paragraph. And as we expected, there's no change in the part that we created with a span tag because... As you may remember, when I told you in the beginning, the span tag is an inline element, and it starts in the same line, and it only takes up as much content. 
So that's about as simple as you can get with these div and span tags. Uh, we're going to be able to increase the effect um, of the styling part uh, with CSS. So we'll be able to elaborate these tags in that part of this lesson. However, they are pretty good examples so that you can see the difference between block level and inline elements. So I hope that was useful. Go back and play around with it if you want to. And I want to see you in the next lesson.